Hello, today we're going to look at t-test goals and how you can add evidence to those goals in Edufor. So you've already written your goal, so what now? Inside Edufor, if you'll go to Appraise and click ev Evaluation Documents, and if you haven't already, this is where your goal will be. And so, for example, we're going to use this goal that I have um, that I'm looking for completing my certification and, and different levels in Google. So I click this evidence tab and this is where I can add four different types of evidence to show proof that I am trying to become accomplished or at least proficient in my goals. So under there there's four different types of evidence that I can show. The easiest is just text. So let's say in this case uh, you've written a goal for your classroom to use more technology integration. So you may, uh, you know, you're looking at that creating a classroom that and you can put your demonstration of how you're reaching that goal in that type of evidence now once you've saved it it has when you put that in there if you want to go back and edit it or take it out you can I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the steps of the other three types of evidence so a file upload you just have to find that file. So in this case, I'm going to show you, um, you know, I have a, a PDF that I want to upload here of a certificate that I've obtained towards my goal. I can add a description on this one. Maybe I need to write what this is for. So this is a level one certification. You can, and then that uh, evidence is uploaded as well. The third type is adding a link so in this case maybe you've created something on your teacher website or you've got a blog that you're posting so in this case I'm taking the URL from our blog this is pertaining to my goal here so I just copy that I'm just pasting that link in there in this case I may want to put it in the description you don't have to but in this case I need to uh, I want to give a little more demonstration of what this is So in this case, I'm going to be talking about what this blog is doing, how, again, that's tying to my goal. And the last piece that you can add is a workshop portfolio. So this is anything you've already done in, inside of Edufory. Once I click this, it'll pull up your courses that you've completed. So here's one that ties back to my goal. It shows a date on that when that was occurring. And I, I have that as well. So these are the four different types of evidence. As you see, you can go back. They have a few different um, icons that you can kind of tell as you're adding these, if it's a text or if it's a link or if it's a web workshop. You can always take this out if you want or add more to it. Now speaking of that, it, while it is not required by the district to add this evidence, your campus administrator will help determine what and how much of this you should put in for your goal. Uh, if you have any questions on that, you can contact any of your instructional technology specialists. We'll be happy to help you with that. And of course, I would always uh, make sure that you go to your principal first to make sure that you what they were requiring in your goal. Okay. Hopefully, this video will help you find those uh, needs as you're going through it. Thank you.